Awesome. So um, after, uh, so we have a little surprise in the schedule now. So after hearing from one of John's PhD students, now we're going to be hearing from some of his undergraduate students, guys. Oh, if you speak, I don't know, uh, probably you should speak a little bit louder. Sure. Then I think you, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah. Hello. Um, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I was told to project. I'm doing my best. And my worst at standing next to my friend here. Um, my name's Peter. I'm a graduating senior in the department. Um, and we've been asked to say a couple of words about uh, what John has done for us, which is a lot. So we'll, uh, thank you. Uh, I guess I'll start over. Uh, my name is Peter. I'm a graduating senior in the department. Um, I'm here with some of my friends and peers to talk about um, what John has done for us uh, in our time here, uh, which has been quite a lot. Uh, I've known John for four years. I took uh, two semesters of classes with him. Um, both were great, but most importantly, um, John supported me and a group of my friends um, who were uh, had budding interests in computer systems security, and he took us to a uh, brand new and later turned out to be annual security competition at the University of Connecticut, supported us in building the team and taking it uh, to competition, um, where we uh, unexpectedly won. Uh, I think John was less surprised than uh, those of us on the team were, um, but it was a big surprise to us, and um, I think that uh, event supported by John really kickstarted um, our interests in security. Uh, two of us have now taken full time from that team have now taken full time jobs in computer security, um, and uh, it was an invaluable experience. So between teaching and uh, conversations in his office and that event, uh, John has certainly had a, an outsized and positive impact on my time here at Brown and in the department. So thank you, John. Um, John has taught me uh, three of the most important things that I learned here at Brown. The first one, being a cybersecurity student of John, was the foundations of cybersecurity. I didn't even know what cybersecurity was when I took his class my freshman year, but he taught me that, and, and now I'm going into cybersecurity field as a career. So um, the second one is John taught me how to learn. Um, as a mentee of John, I, he always um, pushed me to think critically and to approach um, a situation thinking about all sides of it and never to go into a situation with a preformed opinion of what I think it is. Um, the third thing is that he taught me how to teach. Um, as a TA of, uh, for John's class for the last three years, I had to really struggle to learn how to teach cybersecurity to students who were new to it. And John's um, basically inspired me to figure out how to do it. Um, and he taught me so well, and he was always a mentor to me when I didn't know how to approach it. So thank you, John. And um, this is a uh, Klein bottle. I d I'm not 100% sure if we already, if we didn't already give you one, but um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so uh, the Klein bottle is uh, made by my dad um, back there, Cliff. Um, so. Um, <laughs> they're basic, it's basically a bottle with no edges. I <laughs> don't fully understand it. <laughs> I'm Sarah. I'm a graduating senior in CS like Peter and Zoe are. I also took uh, cybersecurity and international politics with, jo with Professor Savage. But additionally, uh, I went to Washington DC with him for the this year and the previous year for a cybersecurity policy competition, which is really an intersection of my interests. And Luke went for two years as well. It was an one of the refining experiences of my Brown career. Uh, just the support and wisdom offered by John is inspirational. And additionally, when we're at this conference, you can tell how invested he is in our future and how much he cares about us. He makes sure that we know all of the amazing people he's met from his time at the State Department. His, his investment in our future is just warms my heart so much. So uh, 
Uh, I'll start with an anecdote about John that I'm surprised no one else has made. I remember <laughs> coming into cybersecurity my first year. Lots of students take the class. It's pretty big. Um, I remember he went around and he introduced himself to every student. He was just like going student by student. And he's, what's your name? What are you studying? And I'm like, wow, like I've taken a lot of big lecture classes my first year at Brown, but like no one's ever showed such an interest. Cool, whatever. Come back to the second class. Uh, and John goes down the rows again, but except this time he goes, hello Luke, hello Peter, hello Zoe. And everyone's like, oh, okay, he probably only knows five. He gets like 40 people in. <laughs> um, I was also lucky enough to head TA for John once, uh, TA'd for him before, and I went to the cybersecurity competition two years ago when we also uh, surprisingly won. Um, it's funny that you also mentioned that about John because John was also the least surprised person. <laughs> no undergraduate team had ever made it anywhere near as far as us, but John, of course, was very confident that we were going to win the whole thing. Um, and it, it's unsurprising that so many of your students have had very successful careers because he is always promoting us. I mean, we were, we were at some talk at this fancy law firm in DC and John throws his hand up. Um, like he was like a State Department deputy or something, very important guy. And John's like, "Hey, I just want you to know that I have four really amazing students, and you should totally give them internships for like these following reasons." <laughs> and we were all like, "White," because <laughs> like, "Whoa!" Now everyone's looking at us. But uh, it it was pretty successful. John, after after we won the competition, John did some networking with the VP of Symantec, and what do you know? One of us ended up working for her that summer. So I just like. Don't know how to thank you enough, John, because you've really made these last four years really awesome. So.